Hundreds of people gathered near a Hong Kong park Friday despite a ban on an annual candlelight vigil remembering China's deadly crackdown in Beijing's Tiananmen Square and despite the arrest of an organizer of previous vigils. Hong Kong police banned the vigil for a second straight year, citing coronavirus social distancing restrictions, although there have been no local cases in the semi-autonomous Chinese city for more than six weeks. Police closed off large parts of Victoria Park, the venue of past vigils, in the city's popular Causeway Bay shopping district and warned people not to participate in unauthorized assemblies, which carry a penalty of up to five years in jail. Despite the ban and a heavy police presence, hundreds of people still turned up Friday night to walk along the perimeter of the park. At 8 p.m., many turned on the flashlights on their smartphones while others lit candles in remembrance of those who lost their lives when China's military put down student-led pro-democracy protests in Tiananmen Square on June 4, 1989. Hundreds, if not thousands, were killed in the crackdown. In past years, tens of thousands of people have gathered in Victoria Park to honor the dead. Last year, thousands defied the ban, lighting candles and singing songs. Police later charged more than 20 activists with participating in the event. A man who joined the hundreds near the park on Friday, giving only his surname, Wong, because of fears of punishment, said the Tiananmen Square crackdown is a memory shared by Hong Kongers, and he wanted to commemorate the students and citizens who were killed by China's People's Liberation Army. China's ruling Communist Party has never allowed public events on the mainland marking the military's attack on protesters and citizens. Security was increased in Tiananmen Square in central Beijing on Friday morning, with police checking pedestrians' IDs and tour buses shuttling Chinese tourists as on any other day. Authorities have squelched all discussion of the events on the mainland, where the few remaining activists and victims' advocates are put under increased police monitoring and taken away on involuntary vacations around the anniversary. Chinese officials contend that the country's rapid economic development in the years since what they call the political turmoil of 1989 proves that decisions made at the time were correct. Along with the deaths of protesters and ordinary citizens, the events of 1989 caused considerable upset within the Communist Party, with the reformist General Secretary, Zhao Ziyang, removed from office and placed under house arrest until his death in 2005. Efforts to suppress public memory of the Tiananmen events have lately turned to Hong Kong, where the June 4 Museum was closed this week just three days after opening, and police warned residents not to attend the vigil.